Well, let's go to the lady of the hour. We love this. She's very popular, does wonderful work. And I thought we'd just canvas with Peter some of those issues. Peter, good evening to you. We've missed you for a couple of weeks. Hope you're well. I knew you were having a little bit of a difficulty there, but it's lovely to have you back. Your thoughts on the budget and aged care? Look, it's a challenge. Uh, it's a challenge because we're all living longer and we're not ageing in our homes like we probably had for many, many generations. We're ageing out of our homes in care facilities. Ian Henschke makes the good point that most of us, when we get into what used to be called high care or acute care, aged care facilities, it's really in the last stages of life. I think it's pretty confronting the information that came out of the Royal Commission. Um, but I think there's a lot of sadness too with families in that they're not caring for people at home. I think there's a lot of guilt and we all carry a bit of that um, in the fact that we are putting our elderly into homes and we hear yes. about all these terrible circumstances and wish it, wish it was different. I think we've got to be, I think we've got to be realistic we want increases in education, we want changes in hospitals, we want more roads, we yes. want obviously money into aged <coughs> care, we want more into childcare. Are we going to have a conversation in this country about what we can reasonably afford and what our priorities are and work back from that? Because the government, federal government in particular, is the lender of last resort. We, we will soon, if we start lifting taxes, to pay for additional aged care services, and the Treasurer has ruled that out so far. But... You're going to talk about people in tax brackets over 50% of their, of their incomes in this country. Now, that's just not sustainable. We've had no. 30 years, Alan, of superannuation. Mm. 30 years of superannuation. We still have two-thirds of retiring Australians living on some form of government form of welfare. Pension. Yeah, absolutely. That's not... That, that, correct. That will, can be DSP, can be pension, full yes, or part. But, but that's not what was supposed to happen, no. obviously. We, we, we know lots of people who yes. want to age in their homes with home care packages. We haven't got enough of those. I think this is a really tough one, but I just Very don't tough. think mm. looking constantly at the government to bail us out. I mean, is there, for example, something we can do more elastic about allowing people to retrofit their homes uh, granny flats in their back garden, shared facilities for people to live in community. Is there something we can do that's different from the for-profit model yes. of aged care homes? Okay. What can we do differently? Mm, good on you. I want to hear from you just quickly too on this other enormous issue that's now really percolating and at last the electorate is starting to understand the crisis in education. Your thoughts there? I discussed it tonight, I mean, particularly the curriculum, this idea that we can now have enshrined in the curriculum Invasion Day. I mean, this is, this is the, the holy grail of the left for the last 20 years, and that's now in the national curriculum now. I know it's a draft document, uh, but, but when is someone in Canberra, it's a Conservative government, we're told, aren't we? When is someone in Canberra going to stand up to this draft document? It'll go before the uh, education ministers. Uh, the federal minister gets one vote. Uh, the minister in New South Wales gets one vote. But how can we have that stand? I went through some statistics tonight. You know, uh, in Singapore, kids in grade two in Singapore know all their times table. Well, in Australia, they don't do the times table till grade four. In Singapore, they're already on to uh, and then there's algebra no rote in learning. primary school. There's our, no rote kids, learning. Mm. No Our kids, well, this is the thing, when they, when they start in Australia mm. to do their times table in grade four, they're allowed to have a calculator. Mm. In Singapore, probably like you and I learned yes. it, it's all off Learn by it. heart. And that That's... stuff's evaporating, right? So you wonder why we're struggling we when are. it comes to education. Mm. We've never had more money in education. We've never had worse outcomes. Yeah, well, I mean, and then the other thing is you have a national curriculum and the states still can please themselves. Always lovely to talk to you. Always lovely to hear from you. Congratulations on the wonderful work you Great do. You can hear you. Peter every night at 6 o'clock, a breath of fresh air. Talk to you next week, Peter.